Hello Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Welcome to your monthly general reading for November 2021. Before I start, I'd like to thank everyone who have subscribed to my channel. Those of you who've liked, shared and commented, thank you all so much. And for those of you who have been booking private readings with me, thank you for choosing me to be part of your story and part of your journey. So, Cancer, I've already pre-shuffled the deck and we are having one card for each week. And um, let's start, okay? This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. So Tarot and Universe, please tell us what is coming for Cancer. Okay. Okay. Week one. Week two. Week three. And week four. Okay. The bottom of the deck is five of swords. So week one, we've got the four of wands. Week two, we've got nine of swords. Week three, we've got knight of cups. And week four, we've got the three of pentacles. So, Cancer, having this five of swords here as the bottom of the deck, I feel that here is um, something that has occurred in October and you are still conflicted about it in November, okay? Perhaps there's some type of family conflict, okay? Or it could be something to do with government. However, I feel here that it is more to do with some people that you know as in family, you know, um, distant family, whatever, yeah? And there's going to be this issue maybe towards the end of the month of um, October and in November you will be still conflicted or something is not going to feel right for you, okay? That's how I'm seeing that this is. It's, it's like, it's, it's a carry-on, you know, it's a carry-on. And so you will be thinking, what the, what what on earth is going on here? You know, conflict, something is not right. And here in the first week, we see that um, there is a celebration going on. So it could also be that even with this celebration going on, something is still not going right within you. You are conflicted. That is how I'm seeing it. Conflict is going on, has something to do with family gathering. Okay, so some of you is a leftover from, um, you know, October, carry on to November here. Okay, so I feel here there will be, for some of you, is going to be a celebration, to be a meeting. This could be a, a marriage. Some of you could be getting married or some of you may be attending family gatherings. And then there may be some exchange of words, which some people are not going to be too happy about. It could be you, Cancer who could be the one speaking or something like that, okay? Because in the second week, we've got the um, nine of swords. Something is of a nightmare to you or um, whatever the situation is. I feel it still has something to do with the um, five of swords because I feel during this gathering, you are going to say something, something that doesn't feel quite right for you. And perhaps... You may be feeling that you've lost the battle, okay? I feel here you will be the one speaking up for someone or for something. It could be the person you love, okay? It could be the person you love or you could be speaking up for someone because this is an Aries card, yeah? And this is an Aquarius card. So this is some, you know, this is Mars, so it could be your mass energy that is fighting for someone and then it looked like people have ganged up on you. 
So either at the end of October is going to be happening and, you know, you're carrying on to November. This is how you'll be feeling. But then in the second week, you'll be feeling like, what is happening? And it's going to be like, you know, why did I do that? Or why did, did I do something wrong? I feel you'll be blaming yourself in the second week here. Like it's a nightmare. Why? But then in the third week, you have a, a proposal. I feel this proposal is a love proposal for you. Whoever you are speaking up for, whatever you have done, that has caused you this um, nightmare is going to come as a, you know, the consequence of it. Yeah, because I feel like you are speaking up for someone. Okay, I feel you are speaking up for someone and it, it, did, it didn't come across too well. Okay. And now you're feeling, oh my God, what's going on? What did I do wrong? But it's not like you've done anything wrong. And of course, in the third week, whoever you are speaking up for has come to you and made a proposal to you. So in the third week, something is going to happen for you that's going to be beneficial to you emotionally, mentally, psychologically, because this is Pisces and Aquarius. Okay. And so um, it could be that, you know, it could be a fellow water sign who'll be making this proposal to you or you could be getting proposal from your your um your person or someone who wants to work with you however i feel this is more connected to your love life and of course in the fourth week there's a possibility that you'll be getting married by the end of um november or whatever didn't work right for you in november or at the end of october in the month of november in the fourth week Everything will start to fall into place. This is when you start to work as a proper team, as a proper family. Everything is going to work right for you. So whatever you are doing, you know, um, don't be uh, upset too much. Because in the end, love is coming to you. Okay. Whatever you are going to do is going to be um, appreciated very much. Yeah. So I hope this has been insightful for you. I'll leave the reading here. I'll see you next month or you will see me next month.